And with the rain still falling, there's growing concern for the thousands of people in and around Houston who are still stranded by this storm. And among them is our next guest, Celeste LaRusso. She's with us now. Celeste, good morning. It's good to see you. As I understand it, the water really started rising in your house overnight about midnight. What happened? Um, we had spent all day preparing, barricading the doors and everything with uh, wood and hot glue and everything. It started rising out of nowhere. And it came in through our walls and from the floor and the carpet. So uh, we had we we spent all day barricading. We didn't have time to move all of our stuff. <laughs> so we had to hurry and evacuate to our neighbor's house upstairs. And that's where you are right now. You're you're at your your neighbor's house. Celeste, before you were able to to get out safely, were you, were you able to get anything to take with you? What did you have to leave behind? Uh, I just had a suitcase of some clothes and. Uh, my phone, a computer, um, and we're, we're at the uh, old house right now, actually, and uh, we had to leave the animals behind. Uh, the neighbor would not allow animals in this house. So I've been spending all night trying to call people to come get them. And, and are you hoping for a rescue, Celeste? Is that, I mean, you, you can't leave? You're stranded in your house? Are you hoping somebody will come? Yeah, we, we called uh, emergency services four or five times yesterday, but no one ever showed up. How much? And I've been calling all night and no one's been able to come by. To be clear, though, where you are right now, you're, you're safe in your neighbor's house. The condition, uh, the condition of your neighbor's house, not as bad as next door at your place? Um, I'm at my house right now. We had to come back Got to it. check the animals. But uh, no, the neighbor's house is fine upstairs. Uh, they still have power, but downstairs is flooded completely. It's uh, almost to our knees. Yes. So, Celeste, how did this, I mean, obviously it's been raining for days there. And did you think, okay, our house is safe, we'll be fine, and then suddenly the water started coming up? It had uh, gotten really high, uh, but it stayed at the same level for a really long time. And so it didn't seem that threatening. And it seemed like it wouldn't happen all at once, but then it just happened all at once. Like, <laughs> within an hour, it went from where it had been to inside our house. And I, I know, Celeste, you live with your, your family and your brother. Uh, how are you guys doing? Are, I mean, do you feel afraid at this hour? Do you, are you worried that you won't get out of there? Uh, that we won't get out of here for a while and that our animals won't be able to have anywhere to go. Well, Celeste, we appreciate you spending your time with us this morning. We, we send you our very best and hope somebody's listening and is able to get to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and we're sending our love to you. Thank you.